Hi, Yarnadies. It's Sandy. Thanks for joining me. This is just a quick video. Uh, I have a couple things to talk to you about. Not a whole lot because I did that video with George and, you know, haven't really done a whole lot since then. But uh, I did design a new hat. This is not it. <laughs> This one is my faithful, old faithful that I made last year. I absolutely love it. It was made with Hugo yarn. Um, and I'm sure I wrote down the pattern, but I can't find it. So I designed a new hat. And here it is. Actually, I'll show you this one so you can see the stitches a little bit better. <clears throat> so there it is. I did it in a, a blue color and then I did it in this color. Here, I'll show you. Excuse my hair. There you go. So it's got little peekaboos. Of course, my hair is going to come out of it, but it's got little peekaboo holes. Um, for ventilation, air ventilation. <laughs> so there you have it. Uh, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on it, hopefully this week uh, sometime. Not too sure when. Uh, I'm, I really want get, to get it going in the next couple of days, but I have to set up my camera and everything because I, I ended up having to take it down when... We redid this room so yeah there's that uh another thing is the um the giveaway that i was doing for the tea the two winners that i did neither one of them got a hold of me so i'm going to be redoing that um that draw for two new winners okay uh i'll probably be doing that within this video um, what else? I had something else I wanted to talk to you about. Oh, I know. The first recipient of the Sisterhood of the Traveling Hook was Isla Brown from Brown Owls Crochet Fun. She has got the, she's gotten the, um, the hook and hopefully she's on her way to making her, uh, her project with it. Uh, I have not heard from our Australian recipient yet, so I haven't got a tracking number on that one, so I'm praying that it's going to get there. Um, so, yeah, uh, I couldn't believe it was going to cost me an extra $30 just to um, put a tracking number on that. It was crazy. It was absolutely crazy, but I have to have faith that it's going to get there safe and sound and that she will email me and let me know that it, it got there. I did send it by air, so um, I was hoping it was going to get there by now, but I guess not. But anyway, <clears throat> so yeah, so if you haven't um, subscribed to Isla Brown, Brown Owls Crochet Fun, Go on over there and click that subscribe button and uh, I when she gets her video up I will be putting it in one of my playlists for I have a playlist for Sisterhood of the Traveling Hook and as we progress I will be putting all the videos in there and I will let you know when they are up and I will put the links down below and all that kind of stuff so don't worry don't worry I got your back um little health update uh i had talked to i think i told you guys that i had talked to the um the doctor the specialist for weight loss and all that uh he has basically said that i am insulin resistant and he has put me on metformin um i've heard good things and bad things about it i've been on it now for five days maybe uh, I'm noticing that I'm having these little niggly headaches um, from it but apparently that's normal um, 
And I don't know, my, my moods have been just all over the place. I'm, yeah. So I don't know, something's happening with me. I haven't lost any weight, um, but I haven't done any exercise either. So, um, but he did say that I'm doing things right. It's just that I'm insulin resistant. So that's why I'm not losing the weight. Um, he wants me to do the intermittent fasting and I, I'm, I do that anyways because, um, because I was uh, um, anorexic and bulimic when I was younger. It's still in my head. So for me to be able to eat before 10 o'clock in the morning, it's not good. Like I, I get sick <clears throat> automatically. And uh, so trying to eat is... It's crazy. And then during the day, I'm sitting there crocheting. So I totally forget to eat. So by the time three o'clock rolls around, then I'm like, oh, I'm, I, think, I think I should probably eat something. <laughs> so I guess in my own little way, I am doing the intermittent in, intermittent fasting. But um, I've always been told that that's not good for you. You get so many different people saying different things. It's It's crazy. It's like, you know, one thing's not good for one person, one thing's great for another person. So I don't know. Anyway, I just know that I'm really low energy. And that has a lot to do with the sleep apnea. I haven't been sleeping very well in the last week. Because uh, I changed my pillow. <laughs> I have to get rid of that pillow. It's no good for me. Um, and then we've been having cat issues. So Bella hasn't been feeling well at all and <clears throat> so she's been um, I've been really worried about her she wasn't eating or drinking very much so I got my mind on that and then she peed on her bed and it was just like oh it drove me crazy um, <clears throat> so we were having problems with that and so I'm constantly uh, thinking about stuff like that and so my sleep is all messed up. So not only is my sleep apnea screwing me up, my everyday life is screwing me up because I just can't stop thinking about stuff. So yeah, but uh, hopefully the metformin will help. Uh, I don't know how long it's going to take for me to get over the headaches and all that kind of stuff. I know it's going to take some time, but yeah, let's, let's see what happens. I don't know. Okay, is everybody ready to find out who our two winners are going to be for the tea? Okay, I've got the random comment picker all ready to go. And here we are. Here's number one. Yay, it's Petra from Petra's Happy Place. Woohoo! What is she saying here? Uh, Sandy, I can totally understand your position with the health and, uh, and not being able to relieve the stress of by crocheting. I think you need to take that chai tea and sit in a tub. Yeah, you, you have no idea. <laughs> Letting all the worries and anxieties just float away. Uh, love you, sweet girl. I prefer black tea, but I would, wouldn't turn any tea down. So I guess it's the black tea for you, Petra. Uh, okay, so that's number one. Yay! I'm so glad Petra won. Okay, here we go. Pick another winner. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Bunny crochet. She says, I love tea. The little tea guys are cute. Aren't they adorable? I just love them. Okay, so there we go. It's Bunny Crochet and Petra from Petra's Happy Place. I already have Petra's information, I believe. But Bunny's Crochet, you need to get a hold of me at uh, crochetacanada at gmail.com and give me all of your information so I can send some tea off to you. Thanks, guys. So keep an eye out for the tutorial for this hat. And uh, yeah, 
I guess I will talk to you guys later. These, my videos have gotten really short lately, haven't they? <laughs> <laughs> that's terrible oh yeah oh well I, I I'm trying really hard not to put out too many videos or too bit long videos because everybody right now is doing vlogtober and uh, <clears throat> so I know that there's a lot of people out there that are are doing that I didn't want to participate because it was just going to be an overflow of stuff I'm not even sure if I'm going to do um, the December one I don't know I like, probably not but um yeah because I just find that it's just YouTube gets so saturated with all these videos that everybody has a really hard time keeping up so I just bow out and don't participate <laughs> so yeah but anyways okay you guys uh so thanks for joining me keep an eye out for the pattern I'll talk to you guys later bye <laughs>